Hearthstone fans from all over the globe tuned in to watch their favourite cardmasters compete in the Murder at Castle Nathria online event. The next chapter on the Hearthstone Masters Tour 2022 season. From Blade Masters to spellcasting, Heroes of Azeroth to the treacherous sanctums of Revendreth, fans saw it all as one champion paved his way to Masters Tour Grand Final Glory. Taking his spot among the league's greatest number crunchers, Japan's very own Tansoku defeated hometown rival Persesi in the event's round of 16. Armed with his Tempo Rogue, Skelly Ping Mage, Control Shaman and Imp Warlock decks, Tansoku continued his Murder at Castle Nathria adventure by beating out Croatian star Donkey in the best of five quarterfinals. The Ping Mage prevailed, bringing the series all the way to its final game. A reckless apprentice with a double battle cry, thanks to Bran Bronzebeard, ended it all. Well done, Tansoku gets through it. Donkey waves goodbye, predictably. Been a fantastic yeah. run for Donkey. Oh, so close. Okay. Still a very, very good run. South Korean hopeful Miro didn't stand a chance against Tansoku as the semi-finals victor punished him in three straight games. The sequence of card draws and plays fell entirely in Tansoku's favour in the Mage v Warlock Game 3. With so many imps in play, Tansoku had this one in the bag. Uh, you have to get very lucky with this skeleton. Mediocre. No. They're gonna go for oh not that. It's just not lethal. That. Oh. Oh. Is it just lethal? Yes it is. Oh, there's no way it isn't. Million damage. Tansoku punching the air mirror just shakes the head is like, well, okay. <laughs> Tansoku had luck on his side. The Japanese contender claimed his spot in the Masters Tour Grand Final, where his greatest opponent yet would make their stand. No stranger to major Hearthstone tournaments, Glory left disappointed players behind him on his journey to the Grand Finals. From the beginning of the round of 16, Glory achieved three back-to-back tie-breaking series that almost saw him eliminated from the Masters Tour competition. In the end, he defeated Chinese player Three Woods and advanced to the Grand Finals to duke it out with Tansoku for the tournament win. Game one for the Nathria title was a story of Mage versus Rogue, where both players began with a steady early game. Glory was building a reliable board presence. The removal of Tansoku's Kael'thas was top priority, so that he couldn't summon dangerous minions at a discounted mana cost. Through minion freezes and solid alibis, Tansoku tried to delay the inevitable. Wicked strikes followed up by Necrolord Draka's weapon sapped the health required off Tansoku and ultimately earned Glory the first win of the finals. Game 2's Warlock vs Rogue matchup saw Glory take an early lead as he littered the board with demons. Juggling a wild poor knoll with a shadow step saw Tansoku clear the board and flip the narrative entirely. That was until imps made their debut. Two heavily discounted sea giants became the main threat of the game. Tansoku, however, ignored them entirely and went directly to face. With Draka in hand, his opponent was facing lethal the very next turn. Glory knew his time was up and conceded to even the series. Ping, Skelly Mage and Imp Warlock went to war for the third game. Imps and a wildfire kicked things off for both players in the early game. Glory had the draw. Tansoku's bonus 10 starting health meant nothing as early 3-3 imps chipped away at his face. Glory's army of imps and a sea giant were frozen solid by turn 7. Tansoku was brought to the brink of death after a smother starfish removed the freeze effects with a silence. Although Tansoku found a way to clear the board, it was Imp King Rafam that saved the day. Five of Glory's imps were brought back to life with an infused 2-2 extra in stats. Oh, well, GG. Man. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, Maybe I just missed Plus two, just enough. 
Yeah, that's going to get the job done. Glory stood at tournament point and was looking real good to take the Masters to a title. Tansoku had to swing the grand final series in game four with his own flavour of the Imp Warlock deck. With two vile libraries in hand, Tansoku had to get his Imp army on the board. Trading out minions was the play. As early as turn five, Tansoku had this one in the bag. Fiendish Circle created more Imps, further bolstering his Bloodbound Imp via the vile library. Tansoku went to face and brought the murder at Castle Nathria Grand Finals into a Game 5 tiebreaker. Now more than ever, strategies needed to be on point. Any mistakes made in the Priest v Mage Game 5 matchup would almost certainly result in tournament loss. Glory started out strong, coining into a Murkwater Scribe to use and duplicate a Serpent Wig. Glory's Nagas were starting to grow in numbers and size. Cathedral of Atonement further increased his vicious Slither Spears stats while providing draw. Glory was looking strong, leading into the mid-game. Through smart trades and hero powers, Tansoku swung the minion count in his favour. Discovery cards were keeping him in the game as he patiently waited for a game-winning answer. Glory went all in. Varden Dawngrasp was there to delay the onslaught via a board freeze. Tansoku needed to find an answer quickly. After falling victim to a mass polymorph, Glory recovered in the best way possible. A flurry of buffing spells imbued his last remaining sheep with powerful stats, which was enough to leave Tansoku on a single point of health. The grand final series was coming to an end. Bran, paired with the Magister Dawngrasp hero card, allowed Tansoku to live another day. Glory's minions were reshaped, while Tansoku gained another 13 points of armour to stay in the game. Glory had completely run out of win conditions. Through his last discovery mechanic, he tried to find an answer. I mean, the best draw in his deck is School Teacher, because maybe that <laughs> does something. Maybe. I don't know what there is that can win you the game. Call of the Grave? Call of the Grave? Or like Owl next turn or something? Uh... No, no. Berserker, wrong hero. I think that means we're getting the concede. <laughs> oh my goodness. Bouncing back from a single point of health, Tansoku's endurance and ability to read the game won him the Masters Tour title and awarded him a ticket to the Masters Full Championship 2022, as well as the royal take of a $250,000 prize pool. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with the amazing esport content from around the gaming globe. Only on Unbeaten Esports.